Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Gemini. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you. In case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. I'm going to have a look at your tarot messages first and then I'm going to have a look at your courier messages or anything that wants to show up for you in general, okay? You can also follow me on TikTok at Sithi Readings. All right, let's see. Was there for you, Gemini? Let's see what's there for you, Gemini. Oops. I'm hearing I don't want to do it. So there's something here you don't feel like doing anymore. Um, we have the justice card justice card is about harmony peace it's about karma okay it's about making a rational decision and a choice when it comes to something hangman and the ace of wands so there is pisces libra energy with the ace of wands page of swords Six of Swords, and then the Hierophant, Taurus energy too. So it does look like Gemini, there's something you're very excited about, but at the same time, you don't want to be doing something recklessly. So even if you're pursuing something and excited about something, there's like a side of you that's like, oh, maybe I should take a step back from this as well. Okay. It does look like in the past, Gemini, you pursued something and you pursued something with all your heart. You were passionate about this. Um, and it did feel like the right thing to do. There's also maybe some of you connected with the person in the past and there's like this, you know, energy of lots of chemistry between you two. Page of Souls, Six of Souls and the Hierophant. So, it does look like um, why is it looking like some of you are walking away from a relationship or you're thinking about doing so? Even if you're not, there's a certain level of detachment here that you're practicing practicing now. So let's see. Ace of Swords in your future with the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. This is your person's energy that I'm going to have a look at after I'm done reading the rest of the cards, okay? In the future here, you have Ace of Swords, Four of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. I really feel like there's something you're going to walk away from. Something here that you were really passionate about once. Something here. Okay, it does look like there's lots of chemistry between you and someone. Um, but you may also be feeling like this is something that is maybe not working for me anymore. Maybe this is something that... I need to detach from some of you may just also feel like you need to walk away from something that does not align with your values and your standards anymore for a coins as a soul yeah you're very clear with your communication for some of you there could also be something related to your career your business it could come up but it does look like you're walking away detaching and being more practical when it comes to something I also see you exploring something new with that ace of swords energy so bottom of the deck, we have 10 of coins with the page of cups and the high priestess. Trusting your intuition. Some of you have the ability to make money through doing something intuitively. So maybe you could be a tarot card reader or you could be into spirituality, tarot, religion. Other than that, it's like telling you to trust your intuition. If, if you have Pisces placements, then I would recommend you watch Pisces reading. Um, page of cups, the strength card and the tower. 
I feel like Gemini, your heart space, it's like you're open to something. But you, you don't want to do something at the expense of you having to compromise your self-respect. So if the other person wants to meet you, they, they can meet you halfway, you know, or they need to put in more effort because you have other things going on. Right now, for you, it's all about what practically makes sense in your life or not. Some of you have also been thinking about pursuing your passions, like, I don't know, doing something that you've always wanted to do, exploring a side hustle maybe. Your challenge here is feeling discontent with something. Your challenge here has something to do with emotional discontent, emotional burden, exhaustion. Okay. Seven of Wands is your advice. Let's see. Tell me about the Four of Cups for Gemini. Tell me about the Four of Cups for Gemini. The Empress. Empress, sorry. Some of you are feeling discontent when it comes to a particular situation or you're feeling bored because you feel like there's lack of growth in something or you may be feeling like, you know, some of you are just tired of people being selfish in connections, in friendships, in a relationship maybe even, okay? Um, Why is the Seven of Wands their advice, Four of Wands? I feel like a part of your advice here, Gemini, is to fight for what you believe in, but also have boundaries against these people. What's the Justice card about for Gemini? Three of Pentacles. There could be something work-related that you recently pursued or something that you are very excited about. Um, Three of Pentacles is also a card of collaborative work. It's about finding the right team or just working hard on your goals. Three of Pentacles can also represent being appreciated for your work with the Justice card. card to ones so moving towards the future i i do see you taking a chance with something the fool card is about taking the leap of faith forward towards something also you know this can be a little risky but you're willing to do it with the two ones being here this is like okay i need to make a choice new doors are going to be opening for you but two of ones is a card of progress and also forward movement while making the decision that need to be made something that you've been putting off maybe so ace of wands is okay i'm finding the motivation to do something two of wands is a step further from it okay so your person's energy is the queen of swords the star and the five swords this person has um libra gemini aquarius placements heavy placements they could also show up and communicate with you because you're getting the Ace of Swords in your future cards. I do feel like Gemini, there's someone here who's playing mind games with you. There's someone here who is almost like, it's like they're wanting to communicate with you, but With the Queen of Swords, they're like, okay, let me just be silent. So 
So someone is being silent, okay, even though they want to communicate with you. <laughs> Let's see. Tell me more about this. The world. This is someone you closed the cycle with. This could be a person you walked away from. And I feel like a part of the reason why you walked away from them was because you felt like they're playing mind games with you and you just don't have time for this. You don't have time to entertain someone's mind games. Oops. Let's see. All right, so you have legal, you have envy. Someone is envying you, Gemini. There is someone here who is uh, envious of your success. You're getting the justice and the legal card here, two of the same cards almost. So there could be a legal settlement or a decision being made here in your favor. Try not to live beyond your means, just keep up with the others. Others could also be envying your success. So be, be careful with who you trust. We have windfall and then charity. So this is like, okay, I really like this energy because I feel like Gemini, you're going to be making money, but you're also being told here to do some charity work or create that positive energy for yourself because when we give out, we receive as well. Okay. So some of you, you know, this is also a time for you to prepare to receive um, some form of good news when it comes to your career situation. Um, it's like Ace of Souls is also a card of receiving communication. So you better prepare yourself from, from, you know, for something here when it comes to your career, your money situation, something is working out. Okay. Let's see what more is going to show up for you. Control. Try to be a little more flexible and allow the universe to work its magic. Don't lose out on opportunities because it didn't come in the form you wanted it to. Then we have sometimes blessings come in disguise to so stay open-minded. So a lot of you are being told here, yes, you're taking your life a step further. If you have your own business, I do, I definitely feel like you're succeeding in it. But a lot of it has to do with blessings coming your way unexpectedly. So Gemini, I want you to affirm that I claim the blessings that are coming my way. Okay. I claim the blessings that are coming my way because sometimes we are wanting certain things, but we also have to let go of how we think it's going to come to us. Okay. If your finances haven't improved yet, you can be certain that they will very soon. There is a chance of something extra in the air. So that's about it, Gemini. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Have a look at the extended link below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.